Hey girl, hey, it's me, Amber D, and thank you so much for coming through for another video. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Look what finally came in. So if you saw my last vlog, you know that I finally went ahead and jumped on the Timu bandwagon and placed my first order. Well, we'll see if I'm on the bandwagon. I placed my first order and it was just delivered today. Um, it took about a week and a half to get here. Like I said, if you saw my last vlog, I only ordered things that had picture reviews so that I know that it looks it's gonna look similar to the picture that I'm I ordered and not be something completely left field. But let me see. Let me see. I ordered jewelry. I ordered um a lot of different types of things. Let me just see how they have it. So this is this is a cute little bucket bag that I ordered. You know, um, I love my mustard yellow bucket bag. I wear it all the time. It's like a bright pop of color, but somehow it manages to be like a neutral and it fits with everything. So this is the bucket bag that I got. It's pretty much just, well, really, really similar to the one that I have, except for the color. I do love a little drawstring action right here. Maybe actually a little bit bigger. And then it has the um the strap here and you just kind of just like my other one you just put it through these little loops here that it has on the side and tie a knot and i love that muscle yellow bucket bag this one is really cute it's like the same material um so i don't imagine that i'm not going to get a lot of wear out of this good shit timu so far so good this bag was five dollars and 49 cents this might be the most expensive thing that i got I know I didn't get like a bunch of expensive stuff. This is, I am not sure what this is. Let's open it up and see. This is a water cup. I ordered a plastic water cup. It's the kind like with the handle and the top and the straw. Okay, it is not plastic. This is glass. This is the glass water cup. It's 13.5 ounces. It's, it's glass, it's transparent as you can see. They did have other colors. Well, it was like um, a different color on the brim, I think. And then the straw, the straw was a different color, but this is glass, girl. I thought this was plastic. Okay, I'm impressed, Timu. Cute little straw. This is gonna be for at my desk. Girl, this is cute. This is so cute. It's small, it's the perfect little size. This cup was $5.18. Very cute. On to the next. Next up is the... Oh, okay. This is... <laughs> I got this just to, just to try it out. I didn't even see any reviews on this one, but I did want to try it out. This is the Derma Suction. It's the, it literally says, suck the yuck out of your pores. It's a Derma Suction pore cleaning device. So it's like a vacuum for your pores. I actually had one of something similar to this in my cart on Amazon. And it just comes with the like the the device itself and then these three different little um suction heads for different areas of the face and different type of suction. And if you've been here for a minute then you know I'm always complaining about my oily skin. And so with oily skin and some, you know, you just kind of have larger pores. That's kind of the deal that comes along with it. I don't have large pores all over. I just have larger pores in some areas. So I'm actually kind of excited to try this out. If it doesn't work, I was like, why not? This was, I don't know, how much was this? This was $5.19. Okay. This, I was really, really excited about this and I was hoping that it didn't come like cracked or anything because now this is plastic and it's going to be so cute. I hope it looks cute. Let me see. Okay, so this, oh wait, is it cracked? How do you work it? It's a tissue box like four tissues to have at my desk, but it, oh, it just, 
thought it was like a thing where it like hinges and it was it looked like it was kind of smushed in on one of the, one of the corners but we good we good it's not cracked it's not broken it's not nothing you just put your tissues in there and then you pull it out and you know all like my everything over there is like black and with my office of black and gold so that's gonna be perfect over there with my little cup and my desk okay okay team move okay what's next let's see what are you what is this oh this is what this is what i thought the other thing was this is um just a little cotton round dispenser um, just for like the cotton rounds that I have has a little opening there where you can just pull it out. Um, I use cotton rounds for like my toner when I'm doing my skincare, AM and PM. So I just have this I can fit in um, the little medicine cabinet area where I have my skincare stuff. This was $2.48. $2.48. Okay. I ordered a total of 13 things and my total order for everything was... $42.52. No, $42.56 for 13 items. So, not bad. Especially with everything looking looking good so far. This is just um, a new satin scarf to wrap my hair at night. Especially since I took down that protective stuff I was in. And I just had my hair out there. Not that I wasn't wrapping my hair then either, but this. Oh, okay, okay, okay nice big size like a whole shawl girl okay this is gonna be good mm-hmm be able to wrap me all the way up yes ma'am this was um one dollar and 88 cents and i was torn they had so many colors so many designs they had solids they had different sizes and just because I was still kind of testing the waters, I just got one in a larger size. So I'm going to try that out tonight. And then I also got, oh, I got this cute little set. This is the only clothes that I got. I actually wasn't going to get any clothes, but this, this little two-piece set. <laughs> this two-piece set, girl, was only $3.27. I was like, well, let me at least try and it's just like these little super stretchy green shorts with the matching little crop top slash sports bra. Can't go wrong, $3.27. This will be cute for me to just like, you know, I work from home and it's real hot these days. So to just, you know, when I'm around the house, if I know I'm just gonna be around the house, I really don't have on all that much. So this will be a perfect little work outfit for me. <laughs> I really like that color too, girl. Three dollars and twenty-seven cents. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, I also got this little quilted wristlet wallet type situation. Uh, well, not a wristlet, just a little mini wallet. Um, it has all the compartments. I have loved it. it. Has a zipper, and not just where you can just slide the cards in, but it's cute. It's black and quilted with the gold zipper and the gold little zip pull perfect when i'm just running out and i don't want to take my purse i can just grab this this is why i love a good mini wallet and this one is cute quilted kind of puffy this one i like this this is what was it this was two dollars and 29 cents and it doesn't feel like it was two dollars and 29 cents i can honestly say another good pick for me okay i also got some lashes we will see about these it's a set of five and it's the kind that kind of start small on the inner corner and then gradually get longer going to the outer corner. Um, like I said, a set of five. These lashes were $1.52 for all five. And it has the clear adhesive strip there. I'll still, when I use them, I'll still use with lash glue, but I like that it has a clear strip. So um, if I want to go like with a, a no liner look, I can still do that. But we'll, we'll give them a try. We know we stepping out to do some anniversary stuff tomorrow, so we'll give them a try and see how that go. Okay, last is um, some jewelry items that I got. I got a few pairs of earrings and a ring. So these are 
the smallest earring that I got. They're these little double star studded earrings. I don't know how much you can see. Let me get, let me get this out. These were $1.43. And I only wear gold jewelry. So, of course, all the jewelry that I got is gold. But it has like a solid color star. And then like a little faux diamond encrusted star i think these would be cute it's like a little cute little simple stud earring but not super simple uh, just a little bit extra just a little taste extra and then i also got um i got these small bottega dupes these are the bottega earrings um these were these were actually the cheapest thing I got out of everything. These were only 88 cents, <laughs> which is literally like a tiny small fraction of what the, the, the real small Bottega earrings cost, like 800 something dollars. So these are just like the little small ones, the little mini ones. They have, um, they had other sizes, bigger ones um, that were still really, really reasonable price. Like around two or three dollars so still worth it if you want the bigger ones and then because i've been wanting a pair of bamboo earrings for a while i went ahead and was like let me let me see what you got and i just got a pair of gold bamboo hoop earrings bamboo earrings at least two pair one pair to start off with but what i will say and i did notice this in the um, the reviews, because I did check the reviews for everything. It says that the this little clasp part right here um, that you kind of you put through, it um, it's kind of long. It says kind of long, unnecessarily long. So we'll see if they're like the type that kind of push forward or if they go back. But we'll see. Excited to try these, definitely. These were $147. $1.47 for those. And then the last thing that I got is this ring. And I mainly got it. I really like this ring. This is cute. I mainly got it so that it would match my everyday bracelet that I wear every single day. I actually like to wear it inside out, which is how it is right now. And this is the ring itself. This is cute. It's really comfortable. It's like a band ring. And I feel like it's a good match. It's not an exact match, but it is a good match. And this is what it looks like when it's the right way. And I feel like it's still a pretty good match. This is really comfortable. And to be to be honest, on the on the description, it said 18 karat gold plated. So I mean it was only $2.88. So I don't know how trustworthy this gold is, but it feels really good on the finger. And I like, you know, the overall, it looks, it's a little, I, I, ideally I would have loved it if it, you see how it's kind of like double banded. I would have loved it if it was just single banded more, you know, thinner, like the, the bracelet, but it's not chunky. It's not thick. It's cute. I think it's a good match on simple days when I just want a little something to match my bracelet and look like a little set. I can do that. Or with other things, I can kind of dress it up and with multi rings and multi fingers. So, to be completely honest, at this point, I am a satisfied customer with what I ordered from Timu. Now, of course, I'll test this stuff out over the next few days and make sure I, you know, um, see how this wears um, in the bag and how everything, you know, the jewelry, how everything holds up. But so far, so good, Timu. So far, so good. We're broke. Remember, I used to bring my camera. My camera broke. It like it warped, I think. And then the battery, where the battery goes in, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't go all the way into the little battery slot. And all right, girls. So just finishing up at the nail salon, and you know how girls be when they just leave the nail salon. Got a new fresh set, which is exactly what I got. A new fresh set. You can see. Can you see? There we go. My little design. Very cute. A girl. You know your girl got a little some extra. 
finally because you know I'm a whole fuddy duddy when it comes to these nails girl I will get these nude almonds to the death of me but I finally went and did something extra to get ready for our anniversary shenanigans we got coming up but I did wanted to come on here and show you real quick what um Timu stuff I brought along with me to my nail appointment so I put on my little star studded earrings with the solid star and the like the the little faux diamond studded star and then I also brought my bucket bag this blue bucket bag and when I was putting it up on my bag last night I noticed that it, it's actually a little bit bigger than my mustard yellow bag and if I had any complaints about that mustard yellow bag which I didn't is that it would be a little bit bigger and it just made me love this bag even more it fits everything I need in it it has so much stuff in this bag I don't know what you can see but it has my wallet lotion my extra little bag that has like purse stuff like Advil and hand sanitizer floss um, my lip gloss uh, my keys are in there my phone fits and then I also brought my wallet that I got yesterday um, from Timu and it has um, I went ahead and put all my stuff in it but yeah just wanted to clue you in on some of the stuff that I got yesterday that I'm already putting to good use and I am loving everything so far but let me go ahead and get my ass back to the house because I still got to get ready before we go get this anniversary weekend kicked off anniversary weekend part one kicked off <laughs> all right girl so we are back at the house makeup done hair done dressed and just about ready to go I haven't curled my hair in a while like when I was wearing my hair down before I was um I haven't crimping it since I think the last time I curled my hair was February when I went to my cousin's birthday party the big party she had and me and my husband were doing the photography and the videography and it was like purple theme and I could curl my hair real cute and then ever since then I've been crimping it since like Valentine's Day I've been crimping it whenever I wanted to do something different to it so curls are curling today not too much because I want it to fall just a little bit and look more like a natural curly wavy situation so that's where we are and okay girl so when I first started coming when I first came in here to, to start my makeup I had every intention of putting these lashes on that came in from Timu yesterday and when I started doing my makeup I was like Mm -mm. I don't even feel like fooling with these lashes, but I kind of feel like, well, I don't know. I mean, they're cute lashes. They're really cute lashes. We'll see. I don't Not today. Definitely not today, but I don't know when I'm going to try them on for the first time, but we will. But I also did go ahead and switch to my Bottega dupe earrings. Super cute. And then I also have uh, my ring to match my bracelet on. I think that's all I have on from Timu today. This dress is super old. Definitely shopped in my closet for this. I haven't worn it like maybe three years, maybe, maybe more. Not with, no, not more. Maybe two or three years. I'm being extra. Maybe two or three years since I wore this dress, but it fits super good. I'll show you in a bit. And then we are doing, for the first time ever, the Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Mm. It smells so good. Oh, it smells. Oh, like I said, if you missed when I first got this and I was smelling it with you, this is literally the best fragrance I have ever smelled in my entire life. It smells so good. If it wasn't so expensive, this would be my new signature fragrance and I would wear it every day. Forever and ever. Amen. But it is expensive, so we ain't. But anyway, let's do a quick fit check. All right, girl, this is today's fit, keeping it super cute and casual. Got my super trusty, dusty black bow thong flip flops with, like I said, this dress is a few years old, fits super cute, 
super, super stretchy. I like this little ruffle. I almost, since we were doing like super casual today, I almost threw on my denim ruffle flats to kind of go with the ruffle in my dress. And I was gonna wear my blue bucket bag from Timu, but I was like, I know that that bag is gonna get so much wear out of it. And I had already decided that I was gonna wear this bag, which I love. I absolutely love this bag. Both this dress and this bag were from my boutique, um, but sold out a long, long, long time ago before I even closed it anyway. But this bag doesn't get out much. So I was like, let me just stick to the plan and stick with the accessories that I had planned. And it could just go so perfect with this, with this dress, with my new nails. Yeah. Everything is just a perfect match. chicken sandwich, baby got the pub burger, and the grilled chicken sandwich, and the fries, let's eat. All right, girls, so we're just about to leave the restaurant. We came to Cork and Barrel. It's our first time coming here together. I had been here once before, um, <clears throat> and I thought it was a really good, really cute a little restaurant. I thought it would be fun for us to come together. We just hadn't really had a reason to come. So we decided to come today. It was really good. Um, I really like this place. It's a cute little spot. It wasn't super crowded, not crazy busy. Uh, we got here just before two. And it's like, may, we've been here maybe an hour. And we already we were in there. We got our food. We got our drink. We ate. We watched some <laughs> a dog racing show on TV. They had a bunch of different sports stuff on. But it was good. Um, the drinks I would rate, or at least my drink, I got the uh, the Caribbean Nights. It was rum and pineapple juice, guave. Um, I would rate it probably maybe an eight out of 10. It was really good. It was really strong. I hadn't ate much today, but I kind of wish it had a little more pineapple juice. You know how I feel about pineapples anyway. So if it had more pineapple juice, it probably would have been a 10 out of 10, but it was really good. Um, baby got the a Blue Moon beer with the orange and then um, I got the grilled chicken sandwich um, and it was absolutely delicious I didn't even realize it was coming with bacon it didn't say bacon on it so I don't know if they put bacon on it accidentally but that thick cut bacon was hitting the spot they put it over the top and that pesto mayo that they had on there I've never even really been a big pesto fan but that that pesto mayo made that whole meal about a nine out of ten for me baby got the burger the pub burger he said it was an eight and a half out of ten so overall, it was really, really good. And we had some different plans for the rest of today that we had to postpone. We had to reschedule for a little bit later. So about to do, we had to call an audible and pick something else to do with the rest of our anniversary afternoon. So about to head to the next spot. Okay, girl, spot number two, Ota. I'm not even sure what I'm getting. There's a cologne here that my husband wants to get and other than that, I'm just swinging it. Let's see what we find. Donna, hey boo. Mm -hmm. 
All right, girl. So we just got back from Ulta, which is the last part of our anniversary shenanigans for anniversary weekend part one. Our anniversary is actually this coming up Wednesday. So we're celebrating this weekend and then we're also celebrating next weekend. And then, like I said, we had to have a last minute change of plan. So we ended up at Ulta and let me show you what I got. So, like, literally, it was a last minute change of plans, and my husband was like, um, you want to go buy Ulta? You can get whatever you like. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, sir. Uh, he wanted to get a new cologne. He was actually going to get a cologne he was almost out of, but he ended up getting the Paco Rabone 1 million, and this was literally the last one there. This was, this is the 1.7 ounce. This was the last one they had. They didn't even have any more of the 3.4 ounce. And they were like, of course, if you don't like it, you can just bring it back. They didn't even have a tester. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. And it smells so good. It smells so good, girl. We actually opened it in the car so that he could smell it in case he didn't like it. We could just go back in and return it. But no need for returns. So good. And I actually have the receipt. Let's see. The cologne for the 1.7 ounce is $83, girl. So if we didn't like it, he was definitely going to go right back in and take it back. So let me show you what I got. Now, I didn't get too much stuff because I didn't really know. Like, I hadn't, you know, I hadn't been doing my Googles, doing my, my research to see what I wanted to get ahead of time. It was just kind of like, you know, let's go by and see what they got. So I was just walking through. And the first area I stopped by was NYX. You know how I feel about me some next girl. So I got me a new um, butter gloss. This is the angel food cake. This is actually the, the pink one that I was going to try first before I tried this one. But I got this one from Walmart and they didn't have the angel food one. So this is the eclair one that I have first. And this one, um, I really, really like this one. But I will not wear it without a, a liner, a brown liner. But this one is a little darker, a little deeper, a little more mauve -y, So I might be able to get away with um just this one by itself which if so i would love that for me love that so we'll see how that goes that was the first thing i got and then um i went down the cover girl aisle and girl you know i was just talking about how i was gonna do the lashes do you know put some lashes on today the lashes i got from timu and my timu home from yesterday and girl my you know i'm gonna talk to you before like my natural lashes have kind of been showing out lately so I'm actually, this is the mascara that I've been using and I've been loving. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean. And I was going to get another one of these. And then I know they have like an updated version of this one that they had there. Also, I was thinking about getting that one. But I was like, let me go ahead and try this one. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored um, Big Bold and Volume. This is the Extreme Black Waterproof. I typically don't necessarily have to, I don't need a waterproof. Um, mascara because I, I always just like to make sure I'm getting it all the way off but I'm gonna go ahead and try this one and see if I can get my lashes to look like this or at least something close to that so we'll see so that was the second thing I got and then I went down the skincare aisle and I have been thinking about this particular serum for quite a minute this is a Pacifica glow baby serum uh, it was a serum booster and it has um, glycolic acid and vitamin C. So um, vitamin C is kind of like a must have, especially for a woman of a certain age. And, you know, I'm on my road to 40. I am most definitely in that category. So I had tried, you know, the sheet mask that I love. I had tried a vitamin C, one of those, and it actually made me i had a slight irritation not anything major but this is what it looks like and i've done my googles i've done my research i looked at all the or a lot of reviews and this is this is a really good serum everybody seems to really like it there aren't really a lot of people that have reactions to it and um pacifica is it's a it's 100 vegan and cruelty free everything in their whole line all their whether it's color cosmetics skincare 
you know, lip balm, like every, you know, fragrance, everything they have is 100% vegan and cruelty free. So I'm excited to try this and have vitamin C in my everyday um, routine. I'll probably use this serum in PM and continue to use the one I'm using right now. This is the one I use right now for AM and PM. I'll probably stick with this on AM and use this vitamin C glycolic acid for PM. I think I saw that on one of the reviews. It said this is not the, the serum that you want to use like in the morning when you're about to, if you're going out outside or anything, it'll probably work well for PM. And then the last thing that I got, um, we were actually in the checkout. And I was like, let me just check. And I went and I found the, um, an Ulta Beauty um, Matte Eye Primer. So this is my current eye primer that I've been using for years and years and years. I absolutely love it. This one that I have, I've had this one for years and I cannot find it anywhere. I can't find it. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I can't find it on Wet n Wild site. I can't find it at Walmart. I can't find it. I didn't find it at Ulta. I definitely looked. I was like, if they don't have it at Ulta, then they probably just don't have it anymore. So I'm guessing they don't have it anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one and see how I like it. So let me see the... This primer, the eye primer was $12. The butter gloss was $6. Um, the Glow Baby Serum was $18. And the mascara, um, $13.49. So not bad. That's literally all I got for Ulta haul. I know like all the makeup girls out there are like, girl, if somebody told me I could go to Ulta and get whatever I wanted, their bag probably would not have been this size or would have been like filled to the brim. Their little white basket that I had would have been filled to the brim. But you know, most of my products I get from Walmart and I'm good with that. I have like a lot of drugstore makeup and everything and I'm good with that, especially since I'm like super simple on the makeup these days. I wasn't going to go buy a whole bunch of products that I know I'm not really going to wear and wasted my time and my husband's money. So this is the games we don't play. But I'm excited with what I got. I'm excited to try everything out. But for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog out here. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.